So what are the two types of traf trumpet interchange? So we have a type A and a type B. Um, a type A, the important point to consider is these are two layouts and the difference between them is they're just a mirror of each other. And what's main important is uh, where the semi-directional ramp is facing. So the, inf the most influential thing about this is you have to understand the traffic that's coming from the road that's terminating into the main motorway. Um, so if you find that the traffic coming from the main motorway, uh, from the motorway that's terminating into the other motorway, if that traffic is higher, then you're going to go for something called a type A interchange, as I showed you. So if you find that the traffic coming from the motorway that's terminating is higher, so you go with this because this has a much higher level of service, a much smoother flow compared to when this is the minor flow, they will have to come and use the loop, which is a much slower and has a lower level of service. So type B is in situations where you find that the traffic coming from the main motorway, I mean the traffic coming from the motorway that's terminating is less. So the traffic that's coming from the motorway is less, it will have to use a loop. Where traffic coming from the motorway where it has been terminated to will have to use the semi directional ramp. So these are just trumpet interchange modifications uh, earlier highlighted. They're, they're just modifications. There are many, uh, the number of things you can do and use in regards to how you connect this. He's talking about the types of structures, uh, which are the bridge abutments. I'm not going to be going into detail as this is not a structures course. I won't be showing you how to design them. I'm not a structure engineer. I'm a highway engineer. And we're going to just be looking at, there's one which is a solid end abutment. There's an open spill or spill through. And then there's a combination where you have the solid end and then the spill through. So in this course, I'm only going to be looking at how to do uh, the spill through. If you have time, we shall look at the solid end.